So your old F1 shitty headlights are giving you hell. I'm here to tell you what the fuck is wrong with them. Because I've had two trucks with this problem. And I have the Brickhead Light Fords, the 87 to 92, I believe, model. And I'm pretty sure this, what I'm going to tell you, goes for the bulldoze before this body style and the body style after it. And as I move the button in over here, you can see, all right, right now, that's just my running light glowing off the garage door up there. I have to constantly fiddle with my switch in order, and maybe the headlights won't even turn back on. There it is, there it is, and the dash lights are gone, and now the dash lights are on, no headlights. Headlights, no dash light, dash light, no headlights. There it is, you gotta put it in a very certain spot, and this shit pisses me off. There's only four things that can be wrong with it. It's very easy to figure out. I'll show you the probably most least common thing to go bad with them and that is the uh, grounds. Let me show you the grounds. There's a ground for each headlight. One right here and one right here. You can see the little cutout spot that way you can get to it. Right behind the headlights. Right here, a little cutout spot. That's number one that could be wrong with it. Number two is it could be your actual wires somewhere from in the cab out there. Or what's more likely is your dimmer switch. You can barely see it because it's dark. Your dimmer switch in the floor that makes your high beam and low beam. It could be that. Make sure it's plugged in properly. Make sure the wires that are plugged into it aren't frayed. That could be it. Or what's most likely is this switch itself and I know for a fact that's what's wrong with mine because of the way it's acting and I just bumped it I just barely tapped it and the headlights turned off so and all you gotta do to get to the switch is you pull this little button off I'm not gonna do it because I don't have my new part yet but you pull this switch off the little button on it and you pull the other little button off and this wood trim piece just pops right out you can pull it off with your fingernails it pops right out. My lights are just torn, turning on and off. Now the headlights are back on. But you pop this right out, and then behind this, you got three star head bolts. And once you take those off, this the little metal thing sticking out right here, it'll have a silver piece screwed into the gold piece, and the gold piece is what has the star heads in it. So once you take that silver piece off, then you can disconnect the switch. You just unhook it from all the wires. Make sure the wires aren't frayed on that side. And you unhook the switch, put your new switch on, you're good to go. You can probably pull one out the junkyard. Make sure it works first. All you gotta do is hook the battery up in the truck. But this is the problem. I've had this problem in two trucks in the last two months. I got this is an 89 my other truck is a 90 and I've had this problem in both of them and both times it's been the switch in the dash so that's most likely that's the first thing I would go for but anyway that's it for this video hopefully it helps out somebody